Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm very, very, very pissed right now. My PC is not working properly and I am very frustrated. So for the past couple of days, for some reason, one of my, well, my SSD, so I had two two drives in my PC, which was my hard drive, which is two terabytes, works perfectly fine. It's got Windows on all my games, all my files, pretty much. Uh, that works fine. Then I have my second drive, which was an SSD. It wasn't a very good one, very, very cheap. It was, it's only 60 gigs as well. And it cost me like a tenner, maybe 50, 10 to 15 pounds. So very cheap. Don't, whilst I am saying this, do not buy cheap SSDs. Don't do it. Or just cheap drives in general. Go for a reputable, 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 I don't fucking know. Go for a brand that is known and is good. Like Western Digital or Seagate or Samsung or someone like that. Go for them. Don't go for some shitty Chinese, Japanese, Asian company who are unknown. Because they're shit. As I've just found out. That SSD from that random Chinese company has decided to stop working. So I thought it might be the SSD. I thought it corrupted or something. Which it might have done as well. Because of how cheap it is. But so I'm going to show you my desktop at the moment. And I'm going to show you what's happened. Okay, so before anything, I, I in my PC, my 60 gig SSD does not show up anymore. It's like it doesn't exist. Even though it's plugged in, it's like it doesn't exist. So I'm just saying that now. It, it doesn't show up anywhere. Not in my BIOS, in disk management, device management, nothing. It does not show up at all. So as you can see on my desktop, I don't know how, I can't see what I'm looking at at the moment. But here, I don't know if you can see this, but on my desktop, I use... Rain meter, which is a custom overlay for a desktop, blah, 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 blah. I've told about it before. But here, that shows my two terabyte SHD. So my hard drive. Fine. This one used to show my 60 gig SSD. Don't show that anymore. Do you know why I don't show that anymore? Because it doesn't exist anymore. But then I got, I'm going to move over to my PC quickly. That green fella, that M.2 drive. Got that yesterday. It was working perfectly fine yesterday. Pull it in. Solid. Worked. And then... Today, I get home from work and the same thing's happening. It's disconnecting and it's like it doesn't exist. It's like it's setting it up as a brand new drive every time I turn my PC on, which is weird. That should not happen. I'm telling you that is not normal. But then this is the main issue I am having with this whole drive problem. So here is disk management. This is, I don't know how much you can see, wait, this is my main hard drive this is my m.2 as you will notice there is no 60 gig ssd in there because that don't exist anymore so every time i i i boot my pc i have to do this and then literally go through the entire process of creating a new drive i don't know how much you do that sorry i do apologize but i have to create a new drive every fucking time and it wipes everything off that drive. Luckily, there's nothing nothing was on that SSD previously. It was it was just like um launches and stuff, so was, I can get that back. And it was like, but the main problem is that it was Premiere Pro and Adobe Photoshop. Because every time it resets, I can't edit a video on my PC. So I can't record from that and on my PC because I have nothing to edit with. Which is really pissing me off because I was gonna come home from work today, blah 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 blah, record a video, edit it later today, get it up tomorrow. No 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 no, that's not happening anymore. The next problem is, other than the SSDs and all that fucking drive bullshit, I now don't have internet on my computer. So, as you can see here, oh look, no internet. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I've ordered a new motherboard. Um, I'll show you what that is on my screen now. Uh, I had to get some new thermal paste, obviously. I mean, that's not really necessary, but I can't really, I can't use my PC. I haven't got Wi-Fi on it, which if I did, I would still be able to use it. Not to the same degree of playing games because I'd be on a lot higher ping. I'd still be able to play, just not very well. Because I've got fast Wi-Fi. I've got fa really fast internet. I don't want to blow, but I have really fast internet. I have one gig up and down, like a gigabit up and down which no one really has that because it's very, very fast. And then Wi-Fi is about, in my room, 
it's about 150-ish, 100 to 150 megabits up and down, which is still better than what my previous Wi-Fi was, or internet was, wired, which is, I think that's better than most people's internet full stop. But yeah, so I've ordered a new motherboard, which is the only thing that I can think of be the problem. There's no way an M.2 drive that I got yesterday is corrupting already. It's just not possible. SSD don't corrupt like that. The only thing I can think is the motherboard. That's the only thing I could think that could be the problem. Don't know why, because my Ethernet port just stopped working. There's no way it's not the cable. It's not the cable because it was literally working perfectly fine 10 minutes before it stopped working, which makes no sense. I was unplugging my old SSD, the one that don't work anymore. It seems to not work anymore anyway, because it doesn't even, like, even though it's fully plugged in, it doesn't show up on my computer, which is why I don't think it works. I was unplugging everything from my PC to, you know, move it and plug it and I'd like unplug the SSD, take it out. I couldn't take it out because my cord is in the way. Like my radiator in the front is in the way, so I couldn't really take it out. So I just left it in there unplugged. So I unplugged the ethernet port to take the SSD out of the PC because obviously you have to unplug everything. You can't keep everything plugged in. Five minutes later, plugged it back in, don't work. So that's what I think is the motherboard. I've, I've mentioned this to my friends because the one they knew the problem with the previous ssd before yesterday when it was happening and the day before so i've, I've got a brand new motherboard because i've well, i haven't got it yet it's coming tomorrow so sunday and if that doesn't fix it i don't know what will if you know these problems yet if you understand why drives don't show up properly like they disconnect and reconnect even though they shouldn't if you know why let me know in the comments like if you're a pc andy please let me know otherwise i can't make videos for the foreseeable future so just wanted to update you on why my PC is broken and why I probably won't be uploading for a little while. Maybe, well, hopefully it'll be fine when I get a new motherboard. But if it's not, I won't be uploading for a little while. Maybe a week or two. I don't know. I don't know how long it will be. Or however long it takes me to get my PC fixed, I guess. Because if it's my Ethernet cable that's broken and not my motherboard, then I'll still have to get a new Ethernet cable, reroute it. But then at the same time, the, the SSD problem still going on, which is definitely my motherboard happening with that. Because... Two SSDs is happened with, happening with, which it shouldn't, which I don't understand. I'm not going to say if you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, subscribe, but please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, obviously, code XOR in the Fortnite item shop, even though this has nothing to do with Fortnite. Bye.